Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday at about 9.30. Uh, we are about to head to the farmer's market, finish getting ready for that. But before we do, I'm going to mow just a little bit. And the reason I say mow just a little bit is I purchased a Ryobi battery operated mower. And the functionality of the mower works great, but the battery life just isn't matching up to what our lawn needs are. So today we're gonna pick up some extra batteries from Home Depot and see if that works better for me. They're two high capacity batteries, but probably a combination of two things. One, I let the grass get a little too tall, and then I just think the yard space is a little bit too large for two batteries. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that, and you'll get to see how long that battery life actually is. So that's what one battery gets me. Um, you can see it's a little tall, not, not outrageous, um, but that's the mowing capacity of one battery for four amps per hour batteries. So we'll change it. Um, I've got a second one here, finish using that battery. Okay, so here is the area that we were able to get mowed with both batteries this morning. We had a small section of it that was already mowed, but uh, nothing to really impact to show the battery life. Leighton over there, uh, smiling at something, but here are our plants. We had this little planter box that was here when we purchased the house, and we had tomatoes, squash, and peppers in there. Well, when we went on our 4th of July trip last weekend, we forgot to water them or ask anyone to water them for us. And it was right around 90 degrees for four days, so that is the end result. Um, my plan is probably just to pull these up unless you guys have suggestions on how to recover them. There are still some tomatoes on here, quite a few tomatoes, so if there are some options to uh, keep them, I would love to do that. There's some over here as well. A few small ones down here, another one down here. So the plant was really producing well. I don't want to lose the entire thing if we don't have to. So please uh, share your suggestions in the comment section. We also had a tomato plant over here. That one's just going to end up being trash because that one is completely gone. And probably the plant I was most disappointed with is the strawberry plant and that is because Leighton always had such a fun time just being able to pick a perfectly ripe strawberry right from there and eat it while he was playing in the yard. So we'll have to purchase another one of those and uh, start watering that and come up with a watering plan when we travel to make sure that we don't end up in the situ same situation. But anyways, that is the current status of the backyard in our morning so far, but we are about to finish getting ready and head to the farmer's market and we'll take you on the way with us while we go do that.
put the flowers together in this vase here. I like to use um, interesting things for vases. So this is just an old pitcher that I picked up at a thrift store and really like the uniqueness of it. So I'm going to be using that today um, to arrange our flowers in. We picked these up at the farmer's market and really loved uh, supporting our local farmers. Um, so just going to get these unwrapped from the paper bag real quick and then I will show you guys how I'm going to assemble them and arrange them into our base. where they fit into the vase how I would like them to. I always try to cut at an angle. Sometimes that's more difficult than others. <laughs> but try cutting at an angle so that way your uh, flowers can soak up that water. All right, so I think that will do. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in it as well. Um, just fill it up quite a bit. I think I may have actually cut it too short, so we'll see how this works. I may have to use something shorter. Uh, my default is always like a mason jar, so may do that. May split it up between a couple of different mason jars, but this is going to be too short. Yeah, so I cut them off a little too short, um, but that's okay. We can always adjust and use a couple of mason jars. So I like to keep them up here. Um, here's a small one. I've got a bigger size one as well that we'll use too. So here's one that I like to use. Um, let's see what else we have in the cabinet real quick. like to use um, here's just an old jar that again we picked up at a thrift store I like to use it for decorating so this is a perfect opportunity to use it as a vase and then another um, it's a milk jug here a glass milk bottle uh, that we'll be using too just to kind of split them up and have them in multiple places in the house so I'll show you guys that real quick going to take our longer flowers here and grab those out and put them in the um, glass milk bottle. Let's see if I can get those here. I'm no florist so <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to arrange these um, but just put those in the glass bottle. That's not gonna work. So we'll choose something different. All right. My favorite default, mason jars. Back to tried and true here. All right, so I'm gonna move this guy right over here. Get this one out of the way. I may even try to put all of them into this jar here because I like how it looks. so I don't spill any onto the counter. There we go. Okay, so here's one there. And the other I'll take here, finish using this water up. So there you have it. We've got our two bouquets of flowers, um, just using fun jars that we have at home. So, hope you guys enjoy and uh, hope y'all are able to get some pretty flowers this summer. 
Um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.